for all those in London that don't know what happens to the white man when he comes to a P. Diddy party. This is what happens to the white man. Uh, it's so unfortunate. You gotta pull back, though, so they can see. That's crazy. Come on, move. Matt, move out the way. You're still alive. Look at that. Look at, look. Do you get a drink out his head. And that's, and that's James from Simeon Mobile Disco. He is a actual D DJ that I'm supposed to pass out. But when they come to one of my parties, this is what happens to him. I put him to sleep. Next day, right? Child, we've been getting all the details about how Diddy preferred his party goers to dress and the kind of people he preferred to be in attendance. And it just keeps getting crazier by the minute. Yes, Diddy has been caught up in scandals involving people from all walks of life, but allegedly he preferred a certain kind of milk in his guest list. And 50 Cent allegedly knows it and hates how he licked their behind. And you want to know why he allegedly preferred white men in his guest list? Honey, your guess is as good as mine. Put his arm around me in an uncomfortable way, close to um areas that you shouldn't as a as a grown man okay in one of the latest updates on diddy a former party planner who worked with diddy during 2004 and 2005 and wished to remain anonymous stated that women attending his parties were subjected to a bunch of crazy stuff including weight checks the planner said we would do a weigh-in if necessary the girls had to be young and hot so i always had to scale nearby in case i needed to make sure the number was 140 pounds but if a girl was really tall there was a little bit of discretion involved no flab no cellulite not overly pierced or tattooed, no short hair. In addition, the dress code reportedly demanded that women wear short dresses with high stilettos being non-negotiable. There were no pants, no jeans, no flat shoes. Every girl had to wear a party dress, preferably very short, just enough to cover her butt cheeks, but no longer than mid-thigh with cleavage showing. And every single one of them had to be wearing stilettos. To that one there, there was no exception. And the stilettos had to be high. The planner also said that age verification was avoided altogether, adding, it was don't ask, don't tell. At the time, I was really young myself and honestly thought that we weren't asking their age because of drinking laws. So people who have viewed over two dozen videos showing explicit encounters at these gatherings, many appearing to be held in connection with high profile events like the MTV Music Awards and the Super Bowl, have reported that the videos show women who met these specific requirements engaging in intimate acts as Diddy allegedly looked on. Some videos purportedly even show Diddy himself participating while filming from his perspective and appearing to engage with the women. Well allegedly the same way Diddy has some sort of preference for the women, he also preferred that the invite list have more white men. And allegedly, that's one of the reasons why 50 Cent has always had a problem with Diddy. But we know that this beef between Diddy and 50 Cent actually goes all the way back to 1999. And it became clear that something was up when 50 threw shade at P. Diddy in the song How to Rob. Like he straight up said that he would steal Diddy's wife Kim Porter from him. The beef was also evident when Diddy was facing allegations for being involved in the death of Biggie Smalls and 50 suggested that Diddy knew exactly what happened when he said in the song Hip Hop, who sh Biggie Smalls? Man, Puffy know who hit that man. He scared them boys from the West Coast gonna break him off. 50 Cent also previously suggested that Diddy's on the DL when he posted a photo of Diddy and Rick Ross performing on stage. The problem with the photo was that it was taken at such an angle that it made it look like they were making out. In addition to this, he also posted a shot of Diddy in a pink shirt while embracing a former record executive also in pink and wrote in the caption, I ain't saying nothing, but something ain't right. LMAO. And guess what? He also had a very personal experience with Diddy when Diddy asked asked him if he could take him shopping. And 50 Cent was like, oh, hell no. And I'm going, then Puff was like, yeah, like first he was amping him to, to right. get stout. Then he was like, yo, he's like, yo, so yo, when we gonna get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like we could just hang out. We gotta, we gotta Hold kick that. it. This is, this is, Puff, okay. you telling me we gotta kick it. And he was like, right. yo, why don't we like go shopping? I mean, like I pay for it. And I was like, what this nigga just say? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Diddy later addressed 50's comments about him on The Breakfast Show and the allegation about him wanting to take 50 shopping at Chris Lighty's wedding, saying, Yeah, I thought he needed some clothes. What? I'm a nice guy. I have no beef with 50. He loves me. Y'all can't see that he loves me? You really think that's hate? When you really break it down, you've been out here a long time. You know he loves me. Since then, 50 Cent has been on the forefront calling out Diddy mostly for his parties, which we now call freak offs. For instance, remember when Michael Rubin hosted an all-white party and invited top celebrities from Jay-Z to Kim Kardashian to Kevin Hart and several 
several others, a bunch of invited celebrities showed up for the party. But maybe the highlight of the event was a performance from Lil Baby, who took the stage to play through a medley of his hits. Other than the performance, something else that went viral were photos of Lil Baby and Ruben from the all-white party in some pretty close positions. In one of them, Ruben was hugging Lil Baby from behind. And in another photo, Lil Baby was literally sandwiched between two other men. Many people were definitely not surprised that one of the people who found those pictures a bit spicy was 50 Cent. He actually posted the image of the sandwich hug that made rounds on social media and captioned it, See, this is why I don't go to no party Puffy and them at. The F is going on here. Get the F off my young ninja. 50 has also been blasting Diddy, especially since the feds raided his home. And he first wrote in a tweet where he posted photos of the feds and Diddy's sons in handcuffs. Now it's not Diddy do it, it's Diddy done. They don't come like that unless they got a case. He also said that he was willing to pay for the freak-off tapes, and every time Diddy was caught up in a case, 50 was on top of it. I mean, he even worked on a whole documentary exposing Diddy and his parties. But allegedly, even though Diddy had all these people at his parties and freaked off with many of them, the streets are saying that he always preferred the milk white. Who's the person that's number one on that invitation list? Leonardo DiCaprio. The streets are actually saying that the reason why Diddy prefers white men has a lot to do with the man who financed Bad Boy Records. Yep, the person who has his first name starting with a C and his second name with a D. Now, we all know that this person is already openly bi, and in his memoir, he said that even though he has been married and divorced twice, he had been involved in two monogamous relationships with men for over 20 years. He even wrote that his first intimate encounter with a man was during the era of Studio 54 in the late 70s. And according to him, that chapter of the book he wrote himself. As for how he met Diddy, in an episode of Rock and Roll High School with Pete Gangwarg, he opened up about how he really started working with Diddy and how Diddy told him that hip-hop should be a part of the top 40 mainstream and that the business would change in the future. And while he may not have fully understood what he meant, he was actually willing to give it a try. He said, Puffy was 23 years old and I knew the artists that I had, Aretha, Dion, Whitney, was one-of-a-kind music. LaFace ushered in a blue-collared R&B at its height, but sensing the hip-hop revolution, both LA and I agreed that we we could use someone really attuned to the street. You gotta know what you can do for yourself, and you gotta know when you need to look to other people. So at the time that he was pitching, he played Craig Mack's Flavor in Your Ear, and then he played four or five cuts from Notorious B.I.G., and that sort of convinced him. And this person said in the podcast, I said, okay, you proved your point. That's when I introduced him to the weekly, what we called singles meetings. I introduced him to an executive there as someone who would help lead us to the street. Here is where it gets juicy. Based on what the streets have said, that was a very heavy price that Diddy had to pay, and the speculation has always been that since this top dog gave startup money to Diddy to create Bad Boy Entertainment and continue to finance Bad Boy for years, Diddy had to pay in very unconventional ways. Allegedly. Now, people have been saying that the situation may have heavily influenced how Diddy turned out, and the encounter may have imprinted a preference on Diddy. Child, people have also been saying that even though Diddy licked the white man's behind and preferred to have them as guests, he was also allegedly heavily intimately drawn to some of them, like Justin Bieber. Yeah, yeah, the keys is yours when you... You know, when you get 16, you're All good right. to go. I'm good to go. Yeah. All right. And then, when you get 18, you get the house. You okay. get the mansion. Okay. I yeah. get the mansion? Yeah. All right. So, where, where are we off to now? Where would you like to go? Um, I mean, wherever you want to go. Where, where are we going? <laughs> we just... So, check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in... You ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now, he's having 48 Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like... like, like the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing, um, we, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15 year old's dream. Um, you know, I, I, I have been given custody of him. We know that they first interacted when Justin entered the entertainment industry in 2008, because Justin signed to Usher, who had been working closely with Diddy. After releasing his first single one time in May 2009, Justin was eager to work with Diddy. Then in October 2009, one month before his debut EP, My World was released, Justin pleaded on Twitter for Diddy to record with him. And the next thing we knew, they were spending a lot of time together. Child, something must have happened when they spent time together, because in another clip that has also been making rounds since the allegations, Diddy and Justin were together in a recording studio where Justin was probably recording his 2010 debut album, My World 2.0. Apparently, it was so obvious that Justin was uncomfortable when Diddy looked at him from behind tinted sunglasses and questioned him about why they had not been hanging out like they used to. Other than this, there's a man named Justin Livtoski who recently said that he was only six years old when he attended a Diddy party, and Diddy was putting his hand in places he should not have been putting them as a grown man. As for what he was doing at the party as a child, Justin said that he had accompanied his father who was taking photos at the party. And even though he was just six, he remembers exactly what was going on at the party. So I remember marijuana, 
um, and topless women. That's the two main things that I remember. In addition, there's also this video that people have been referencing where Diddy talks about what happened to white men when they went to his parties. Plus, he also said that one person who always topped his guest list was Leonardo DiCaprio. Well, we also have people saying that Diddy sold his soul to the rich white men who had him running around helping orchestrate their own dirty work. Then when they needed a scapegoat, they quickly served him up to draw the attention away from them. But do you believe this to be true? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below.